Hi creative people, we're back today and we're going to be making a jewelry di dish out of this shell that I found at an estate sale and I glued this little piece of coral and it's not glued in very well but the resin will really cement it in so I've already got colors mixed up and we have um, lake blue Let's see if it'll focus there it goes this is the fine touch series and then we have teal mint where oh there it is by Decoart. Then we have ultramarine blue. There it is. Also by Decoart. And then we have titanium white by Decoart. And we're gonna try and make a little beach scene. And this is all mixed with art resin. The this is the resin part, art resin, and this is the hardener. It's a one to one ratio. Very easy to mix up. And so we're going to start with this ultramarine blue. We're just going to put a little bit in here. Kind of want to, like, I don't know. This is a first for me, so we'll see how this turns out. And I want to try not to get any resin on like the top of the coral because it probably won't come off so now I'm going to take some of this lake blue and we'll do kind of want to run a little bit along this edge here because that color is a lot more solid and then we'll do a tiny tiny bit of the mint green okay that was more than a tiny bit but that's okay and we'll do, see if we can put some of this ultramarine blue. Looks like it's not mixed in all the way. Hold on just a second. Let me use my tiny little toothpick to stir it up. And we're just going to put a little bit in here. Kind of fill it with this dark blue. Now, I'm going to take some of the light blue, kind of get it along the edge here. Okay, now we're going to kind of tilt it around. Ooh. Pretty, pretty. Really liking this. Do a little bit more of the teal mint. And then we'll tilt again. Tilt it back this way. Bring it back. There we go. Now I'm hoping that this does not start to spill out. Looks like we're good so far. And I'm not going to put any more resin in. Oh, wait. Yes, I am. I lied. Okay, I'm going to put um, a little bit of oop, white in here. I guess we'll kind of put the white there too. And just kind of make some wave patterns, I guess. And now we're gonna we're gonna try the heat gun. And I'm gonna try not to knock anything over. Okay. Oh dear, we might have to. I'm not sure how to stop that from leaking. I might have to get some tape put on there. Because it looks like it's going to spill over the edge, and that is not what I want. But we're going to give this a go anyways. Okay, we're going to put this on the 170. Oh yeah, there it goes. Now to 
this is leaking out a lot. Tilt it back. I'm gonna try to kind of smudge it out because I don't. Maybe I can prop it up with some of these extra little toothpicks that I have over here. Okay, I'm going to have to kind of adjust this here because we're having unexpected problems. See if that... I'm trying to get it in like the groove of the table because See, where is it at? Okay, there it is. So let's we'll bring it back this way. And we'll put it kind of like this, maybe. Okay, now I'm going to try and toothpick it this way. Try and balance it. Let's see. Oh, I toothpicked through the glove. Okay. Let's see. Nope. Alright. Let's see if I can put it on, like, the ridge where it's sitting to kind of hold it from rotating. Um, okay, that is still gonna overflow. Wonderful. Let's see if we can at least scoop some of this resin out of here. Maybe we can make it look like a waterfall. There we go. We're just going to flow with it this time. We're going to make it look like a waterfall down here. Okay, try and drop it up just a little bit. Um, I'm going to use one of these other little shells over here to kind of hold it. Okay, actually, that's good. We're going to go with that. And pretty much all of the lake blue has disappeared. That ultramarine has kind of taken over. Now we're going to just put some more of that in. And now we'll do a few little drops of white here and there. Alright, now I'm going to do the heat gun one more time, let's see what this looks like. Okay, okay, I, I really want some more of this teal to come out, but it just keeps sliding down. Okay, let's go with that and we'll put just a drop in here of this lake blue and kind of just blend it in. Now we'll heat, put a little bit more white in here. Because the white is really that accent color that kind of pulls it together. Okay, and we'll put a little bit of the white at the top over here. We'll see how that looks. Alright, here we go again. Okay. So now let me take a touch of this and we're just going to put it around the base of this little odor. My seashell gave way. Okay, there we go. Just cover up that little ankle right there of the 
coral piece so that way it um, holds its shape really well and the coral is not going to fall out. Um, okay, I'm going to put, I'm just going to keep messing with this little green section over here until I'm happy I did. Okay, you guys can still see. I was going to say, I never checked to make sure you guys could still see after I uh, moved everything around. Okay. There we go. I kind of want to add just the tiniest bit of green just around the base of the coral to make it look like it's shallow around this part that's protruding through the surface. Okay. And, oh, okay, I guess that's going to be there. That's alright, that looks good. <laughs> Sometimes the best part is the accident. So now, I'm going to have to do, um... Well, let's see. If I can stand up and do this from the other side. There we go. Just get it kind of wrapped around. And now we'll just finish it up. There we go. And I'm just going to kind of hope that some of this teal comes out. And we're going to... Oh dear, my shell gave way again. Okay. The shell is not doing its job for... Well, okay, so now, let's see, I'm going to put a little bit right there, okay, and I'm going to say that's done, because I like that, so I will um, remove the gloves. and bring it down for a close-up. And I think I have this zoomed in just a tiny bit. Okay, there we go. Love this little ooh, green accent right there that I accidentally dropped in. And then we have a pretty cool looking jewelry dish thing. It's like, it's like, this piece will probably be called like Ocean Falls or something because like, it's almost like a little waterfall that's coming down. And then, so this is intended for a jewelry dish. You can use it for whatever you want if you purchase this. Um, the coral is placed here so you could put like a ring on here or anything like that. And then you could put like a necklace in the actual resin once it's cured. Because it will be hard on top. So you can set anything you'd like on top to. On top to. On, on the top. I don't know what I'm saying. Hopefully my shell holds up. <laughs> and we'll see how that tries and i have a few more smaller shells that i'll be doing but i'll do those off camera so thank you for watching we'll see you next time bye